kind of like running in the mud tonight. Couldn't get it going. Yeah, first place my little savage, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, it's safe to say. We uh, didn't come up with our energy that we've had the previous games. And it's uh, kind of just trickled down effect. You know, we uh, kind of, from my perspective anyway, it was like our offense the struggles kind of carried over onto our defense and we weren't guarding anybody. Any reason for that or can't pinpoint it? Or? No, no, can't really pinpoint it, but, you know, it's something that we, we got to nip in the bud now versus later. Would you say it was an effort issue or? Yeah, we didn't play hard, you know, that was, I feel like they didn't do anything, you know, outrageous game-wise or plays-wise. They just were just outworking us in every aspect of the game. Brad, how's it specifically in picking up guys in transition defense? How do you actually work on that outside of games? I mean, we do it in practice every day, so it should have been no excuse for us, honestly. Brad, you have um, Drummond and D. Rose on Monday. What's the strategy um, to get a W? I'm sure it'll be rebounding. You know, that's something we've been struggling with the last couple of games is controlling the boards, limiting the teams in one shot. You know, Drummond, he can give you 30 and 20. You know, night, D Rose is playing unbelievable right now. So uh, we got our hands full. You know, it's not easy to ask tonight was was tough, you know, without their best player. So yeah. You know, obviously you guys are obviously you guys are young, but everyone in here is professional, so is there a balance in if a young guy has a, a difficult game, like Rory has his first poor game, Isaac gets inside gets uh, pulled out the game kinda early. Is there a balance of you know what? They're pros, they'll get over it, or do we have to say something to a young guy? A little bit of both. You know, you still want to hold everybody accountable. You know, you don't want to develop bad habits or, you know, get into, you know, this mindset that, you know, it's okay to, you know, miss assignments or, you know, to slack off here and there, even if you're having a bad game. Like, you can still impact the game in other ways than scoring. So, um, I've learned that from my rookie year on to now. So, I mean, he'll learn that as well. He's talked the same way, you know. It's just a matter of, it is that fine line of just knowing that we are young and we may have games like this, but at the same time, we don't want it to be okay. You know, we're not just accepting that, you know, we got to get better and correct things. It seems like uh, Rui has no problem about being aggressive, looking for his own shot. What's the kind of give and take as a young player looking for your own shot, but also being smart about shot selection? Uh, I mean, just realizing how they're guarding you. You know, you, he'll learn that as he continues to play. The game will slow down for him. but. You know, right now it's probably 100 miles per hour, you know, and he wants to he wants to get going, you know, but, you know, we, we let him play, you know, we, we kind of force him a little bit, you know, he has open shots, sometimes they don't fall, and tonight you learn, even me, you know, we got to dunk the ball more, you know, we were getting our shots blocked a lot at the rim, um, so, you know, just little things like that, as you play guys, you'll learn, you know, you'll learn your tendencies, and, you know, you'll remember them the next time you play them. Is that what you think he needed to do on the two plays where he caught it on the hoop is just kind of go up strong and dunk it? For sure. Even though the roster has been changed over a lot, it seems that defense has always kind of been kind of the Achilles heel of this team. Why do you think that is? Uh, I don't know. Well, tonight I know it's effort, so I'm, I'm not here to talk about last year's team or any other team, but what we got right here. Here's your thoughts on Culver going up against him. Uh, you know, obviously, one of the top picks shooting that. He did well tonight. I think we, we let him get really too comfortable with a lot of his, his points, but you know, he played well. What's his, Brad was talking about, the coach was talking about, it, just lack of effort tonight and kind of running in the mud is what coach kind of described that. Would you agree with that? It was. For whatever reason, we didn't have the effort. We didn't play hard. We was a step slow in every aspect of the game. and. When you when things like that happen, and the score is like this. Can it be tough to reverse that in the middle of the game? Because Scott said, Coach said it was like kind of right off the bat. You guys were a step slow. Um, I mean, the game's so long, you can't reverse that. Like we cut the lead to four at one point, and then they went back up twenty. So when that happens, I mean, it's tough because you, you waste all your energy trying to, you know, fight back. They they played a hell of a game, so you got to tip your hat off to them. But we can play better. That was an embarrassing game for us. Um, it should not happen again. We shouldn't play so well that we should have beat the Houston Rockets the night, the day before, and then lose by 30 to the Minnesota Timberwolves without, you know, their best player. So that's definitely embarrassing. We got to learn from that, and we got to be better. Every player, every coach, we got to be better. As a veteran on this team, is it something that you address with everybody, or 
everybody knows already. No, nah, we we addressed it. Yeah, it won't happen again. We we gotta be the hardest playing team every night, or we won't give ourselves a chance. And if we don't understand that, then it'll be a long season for us. Um, we have goals of making the playoffs and surprising people. We we just gotta um, not talk about it and be about it. What do you think about Rui's performance? This is the first time we've seen him struggle offensively. I mean, it happens. 82 games. He's a rookie. I mean, it's not surprising. One thing I know, the great, the greatest players, the best players have the shortest memory, whether good or bad. So after, you know, when we wake up tomorrow, hopefully he forgets about it, gets, gets to work and practice, and we go from there. Thank you. What do you think um, the guy's first bad shooting game? What do you think about that today? I mean, I don't think it was a shooting stuff, but, you know, the defense, but, you know, me personally, you know, I didn't do a good job in the rebound, too. Um, and nothing wrong with the shooting. Safe to say that this team is just not ready to play tonight or not? Uh, we just didn't play good. I think defense, but, you know, we are. We weren't like we know. I'm not saying like we were on radio or something, but like you know, we didn't we didn't play a good defense. You know, obviously, you know, offense. Um, you know, it's what it, offense fine for us. You know, it's it's nothing nothing wrong. But I think defense and rebounds the yeah the key to win all the games. Yeah. You mentioned it wasn't your shooting. Um, I mentioned uh, the game. So you you mentioned other things that you wish you could have done better tonight. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like defense, but you know, like obviously, like you know, defense was bad as a team, and then personally, me too, you know, um, didn't do a good job in rebounding too. Yeah. Rui, speaking of rebounds, I mean, you have Drummond on Monday. Uh, what's the strategy to keep him off the boards? He can average twenty. Um, we just gotta box out, you know, and grab the ball, and you know, we gotta go get it, you know, as a team. Right now, I just say, you know, defense and rebound, rebound is pretty bad. So, you know, we got to fix it right away. For you offensively, would you say it was more of you missing opportunities or were they doing something different? Yeah, like I say, like, you know, it was like, it wasn't offense. It was defense and the rebounding, you know. Like, this is not like something wrong, not, nothing wrong with the offense stuff, you know. Kind of on the side, uh, how do you think the city responded to um, the parade today? For the Nats. Oh yeah, it was you know, you know, um, I was actually here, you know, when they when they won the championship, and you know, I didn't I didn't go to parade, but you know, it, it's cool to see you know a lot of people come together, and you know, um, the Mystics won the championship and the baseball, and you know, it's been great here. You kind of struggled tonight a bit. Um, what are your vets telling you to help? Um, you? you know, they told me like you know just gotta play hard, you know, sometimes has like as a team like like we play bad but you know we gotta keep playing hard, you know, the defense and the offense, like the defense and the rebounding stuff and the bruise bowl and stuff. That's that's how we get going and yeah.